Hey, everybody, welcome back to X Psychic Saved with me, Jen Niza, your friendly former psychic medium, still friendly. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you the very first time I saw a psychic medium back in the day, of course, long before Jesus rescued me. Stay tuned. <music> So I don't know if you guys know or not, but part of my ministry is on TikTok and I do something called TikTok Lives. And today I was doing a TikTok Live and it just came to mind the first time that I saw a psychic medium. And I want to share that with you today as hard as it is for me, because I want to explain and break down what was happening. So many years ago, a friend of mine told me that there was going to be a psychic medium at this little store. It was an angel store, just about a town away from where I lived. And I said, okay, you know, whatever. And she went to see the psychic medium and she comes back telling me how accurate this medium was. She was blown away. She couldn't believe it. Jen, you've got to go. She's going to be going back there. She does these 15 minute readings. What a coincidence. And you can call the store and make an appointment for the next time, but do it quick because I'm telling you, says my friend, you know, she's going to get booked up quickly. So I call the store, make the appointment with her, and I go. Now, at this point in time, I had already been in divination for quite a few years. I was doing readings, I was doing tarot card readings, playing card readings. That's cardamancy. I was uh, doing, oh gosh, numerology. I was getting numerology charts. I was running the full gamut of divination. So I go and I meet this woman. I go into this room. It's kind of dark. There's candles lit. What a shocker again. Right away, as she starts talking, she brings up my great-grandfather. Your great-grandfather is here, says the medium, and his name is Alfredo. Yeah, that's true. My great grandfather had died and his name was Alfredo, Sicilian, right off the boat. And I'll just tell you right now, looking back, it's no wonder to me that that demon that was communicating with the psychic medium right away brought up great grandpa Al. I was so close with him. See, my great grandmother died when I was five. So I wasn't close really with her, but I had great grandpa until 17. And when I was a little girl, he used to come from Ozone Park. He came with the pastries from Severoli's. Ah. Oh, and he taught me how to play checkers and rummy. And I remember that even when my cousins would come over, which was always like super exciting for us because we wanted to play with them. I sat with grandpa and I played, you can't beat me to today, trust me. Well, checkers. He was just a master of checkers. But anyway, I just adored great grandpa and I was so close with him that when he died, it was like earth shattering to me. I was, gosh, it was like uncontrollable. I remember sliding down the wall in the hospital. And I just want to let you know, I always had an issue with grief to start. I had an issue with death and loss, dying and loss. And he, so great grandpa died. And I woke up every night crying, every night. I'm just going to add in another psychic attack that happened. During this, psychic attacks for me happened a lot uh, in the middle of the night through dreams. And I know now, of course, that the dead do not communicate with the living. They're not coming in our dreams. But don't you know, I had a dream about great grandpa and he showed up at my house and he was smiling. And in my 17 year old mind, I believe that was him coming to tell me that he was Okay. 
that's part of the grieving process that we want to know that they're okay. Going back to the psychic mediumship reading, great grandpa Alfredo is here. That would be exactly the person that I would have wanted to hear from. Point Satan. Then the medium gives me a piece of information that absolutely she could never have known. She was a stranger. I knew nothing about her. There was no Google. There was no any of that going on. Okay. We're going back. She told me that I was a twin. How could she have known that? I was a twin. My mom lost the other baby and I, I stayed. Uh, so I would have had, I believe it was a boy. And she told me that and I was like, whoa, what? How could she know that my mom miscarried? Uh, that I was a twin. It's one thing, just miscarriage, right? I mean, the odds of that are unfortunately high, uh, but that I was a twin. How could she know that? The pieces of information that shook me to my core, just like that video I made with Jennifer Aniston, that she felt shook to her core, that the hair on your neck stands up, right? were pieces of information that those demons had seen. They pray, P-R-E-Y, at your vulnerabilities, at your weakness, at your insecurities, and will give you information in a reading that is accurate. The familiar spirits are familiar with you and with your family for generations. They knew his name. They knew great-grandpa. They knew he died, saw it. They saw what happened to my mom. It was all documented. It was all, you know, it transpired. They only can accurately tell you what they've already seen. And then I was hooked. I was hooked because after all, this supernatural thing had happened. And in my mind, supernatural had to be something good, something godly, because I liked it. Because that part of supernatural was okay with me. You know, the scary things that would happen supernaturally, those weren't good. Those weren't okay with me. So you really are your own God when you're subscribing to any tool of divination, any new age practice, and any part of the occult. And I want to share this with you because I don't want you to be in awe. If you if you come across a video and somebody says the psychic said this and it blew my mind and they never could have known it, no, they couldn't have. But the demons that they're talking to do. They have knowledge, they have power. These demons and they are the ones who are communicating with the psychic, with the psychic medium, all the time, every time. It's never something good. I had that fifteen minute reading. I took her business card. I went home, and I called the number on the card, and I made an appointment for a full reading, a one-hour reading with her. She must have the answers. She must be this, she must have been given this gift to help me, to heal me. Never helped, never heals. It doesn't help. It doesn't heal. It's demonic. Years later, that very psychic medium and I became very close when I was a medium myself. In fact, she was the one who told me after I started getting information from who I believed was a deceased person. Of course, it was a demon. She was the one who told me, you're a medium too. You have a gift and you need to use that gift to get messages from people's departed loved ones to them. And that was the beginning of psychic mediumship for me. I would love to share more experiences with you in hopes that you will steer clear from the demonic. Because when you enter into the demonic, you're giving permission to those demons to afflict you. And those demons, their only mission, their only agenda is to keep you away from Jesus Christ away from everlasting life, to keep you in disobedience to God, 
Because what you think is helping you, what they're promising you, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's an illusion. The outcome is always disaster. The outcome is destruction. That destruction is short term here. That's what I mean by short term here, your time on earth. The symptoms of demonic oppression from letting them in, anxieties, things going horrifically wrong, falling apart in your life. And yeah, the new age is going to tell you, well, you should just smudge a little bit more. Go get a crystal for protection. Go to a different reader. Imagine white light around yourself, false tools of protection. You cannot protect yourself. God's creation cannot protect you from demons. It'll keep happening and happening and happening. Only Jesus Christ is the authority over all. Demons are afraid of Jesus Christ and bow down to him alone. Not you, not your crystals, not your make-believe third eye or whatever chakra doctrine of demons that that is, okay? Please let me know in the comments section any questions you may have, anything you may want to know from my life, any way that I can help you. I am going to be making these videos more often. I really want to reach the lost guys for Lord Jesus. So please know the devil is the master deceiver. He's promising you light. He's promising you love. He's promising you healing. He's promising you help, wisdom, peace, happiness, joy. He can't deliver on any of those things. That's temporary. Those counterfeit, he's the counterfeit. It's just temporary. You have got to come to Christ for true fulfillment, for truth, for love, for peace, for joy. The real deal, not the counterfeit. Those demons hate God and they hate man. I'm going to be breaking apart the experiences I went through so that you can see the truth. So that I pray that you will walk away from the lies of the evil one. God bless you. And I look forward to hearing from you right in the comment section. Mm -hmm.